So if you're a massive tech geek like me, you've probably stayed up, been staying up to date and been hearing about humanoid robots are going to be a thing going forward. They're going to be one of the biggest markets. And Elon Musk himself has said that the car market, Tesla cars, are going to be peanuts compared to these things. Humanoid robots that are going to be able to wash your dishes, do your laundry, mow the lawn, um, fix your dinner babysit your kids, teach your kids, um, do all the chores around the house that you don't want to do, and obviously work in factories and replace all of humanity's jobs. And there's a bunch of different players in this market, right? Obviously, you've got the Unitree G1, and that's what this video is about. You can actually buy this thing now on Walmart, and we're going to talk about it. So the Humanoid Hub, oh, before we do, before we do, though, hit like, subscribe, click the bell icon. It means a lot. If you love tech and love the future of tech and gaming and all that stuff, then please come join us. Take the moment, if you could, um, to click the like and click the subscribe. Anyways, so I saw this on X. Walmart is now shipping the Unitree G1, G1 humanoid robot directly within the US. Only the basic trim is available, but guess what? It's priced at $21,600. Free shipping, and you can order a batch of six in one shot. I mean, who doesn't want to own a robot that could do backflips like that <laughs> in their house? It's it's only four foot tall. It's a small one, but how cool is that? We can actually buy them now. My wife, I've been I've been talking about this with my wife, and she's like, you know what? Elon Musk says a lot of things. He says this is going to be big, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, but like, they never come out. Well, this one has, and it's available to buy right now for the low low price of twenty one thousand six hundred bucks. I'll put the link down below in the video description and top comment if you want to go buy one. Click my link so I can get affiliate money. <laughs> It would be really nice. I think, what, if you guys spend 21600 on this, I might make about 2000 bucks. Please buy it using my link. So here is the listing itself, right, on actual Walmart.com. We're looking at the Walmart listing. So it's 21600 bucks. It arrives on October 13th. As of right now, it's October 8th. So you, literally, you could have this in about less than a week if you wanted to, right? It's um, Unitree G1 Basic, flexibility beyond ordinary people, extra large joint movement angle, uh, 23 to 43 joint motors, Im imitation reinforcement learning, driven robotics technology, accelerated by AI, and it's upgrading and evolving every day. So basically, you'll get... Software updates for this and it'll be able to do more things over time which i think is pretty cool i mean even if you were to buy this right now you know it might not you know it might not have chat gpd baked in and be able to do all everything you want it to do but basically as far as like robots are concerned it's going to have all the basics it's going to have the hardware to do a lot of these crazy things it's going to be able to it's got the hardware to wash the dishes to do your laundry to do all this and all it needs is software updates right to to get better and even then if a lot of the computation can't be done on device on its own you know computer i'm sure you'll be able to stream have like ai connect up to the internet and have it like stream real-time data you know back and forth and use the power of the cloud to basically do a lot of these you know computationally intensive things um so there's a lot of potential for this and having the hardware is the first step and is it cheap no it's twenty one thousand, but does it have a hell of a lot of potential sure the hell does now i've seen a lot of these you've probably seen videos of these on youtube um you know people running around you've probably heard of rizbot right what's up rizbot <laughs> uh. <laughs> This thing could run. This is Rizbot, a modified Unitree G1, the peak of humanoid robotic technology, summing up years and years of technological advancements. You could buy one right space. now, guys. <laughs> what are you going to do about it, bro? Yeah. So pull up then. <laughs> what time we're living in now if you've been following elon musk and uh tesla basically obviously you've seen elon musk has been sharing his tesla bot well here's a video of him showing you his tesla bot doing kung fu now supposedly there's a lot of ways to make a robot do this you could obviously film you know put on gloves a vr headset and have it just copy you know copy your motions apparently this is a fully ai so they've taught they've taught the tesla bot how to do kung fu Look at the kick on this thing. Look at this. Unless I missed it. But you can do it. You can literally. There we go. Look at that. Boom. You can kick. 
balance themselves and literally do kung fu and this is ai it's not controlled it's not a recorded animation they've made it do this is ai kung fu on tesla bot and look at the dexterity of this thing we are so doomed, doomed as a species and what's wild is that basically disney even disney teamed up with um grok and tesla to basically bring the tesla bot to the freaking premiere of tron and had it do um kung fu with um the main actor i forgot his name he played the joker i forgot his name big actor but he basically they brought tesla bot to the premiere and had um had him do kung fu with one of the main the main actor protagonist in tron how well was this <laughs> good decision my friend jared leto was his name Damn it, how did I forget that? But I am so hyped up and excited for this technology to become big and for Tesla bots and Unit 3G ones to be everywhere. I mean, just imagine not having to take your trash out in the morning. Just imagine not having to sweep up the house. I mean, this is a Tesla bot. This is what they're training it to do. So basically, they train, train it to do something and then they basically let AI repeat it and repeat it in a simulation so it gets better and better it basically learns like a human does right using your neural networks like the brain the brain works and here he is cooking and mixing stuff on a pot fully autonomous he's doing the vacuuming he's vacuuming the house he's working in a factory like and i believe from what i've heard of elon musk they're making a new hand of the te for the tesla bot that gives it like damn near human fidelity and control over its fingers and do all the things humans can do and have it give it really precise control with its hands which i think is really awesome um, and it's going to make make the amount of things it can do just limitless all right and think of the bigger picture how this is going to make everything more ch cheap and affordable right at least for a while until companies and ceos get greedy and they want to make more and more profit with you know l less spent on people in the workforce um but i like the thought of you know being able to order food or do order certain things that are just a lot cheaper because robots you know they can work 24 hours a day they can just charge themselves and they don't get tired they don't get breaks you know they don't get raises pay raises i mean I, i'm not being an advocate of you know robots replacing humans in in the job market but you know i do like in some areas, in some parts, the thought of things being cheaper is nice. I mean, who who wouldn't agree with that? I don't think it's going to replace everything, although it'd be very well. But let me know your thoughts. By the way, I think this is pretty cool that you could buy one of these things now on freaking Walmart.com. Um, I'm excited. I'm excited. I want to buy one. And like I says, if you want to buy one and you have the money, if you have the 21600 bucks to buy this thing, go right ahead. Scroll your way down to the description or the top pinned comment and buy yourself one right now get it next week follow me on x and let me know how you got on with your new unitary humanoid robot let me know if it's doing your dishes yet or if it's doing your vacuuming you could literally train it to um and like i says it's only going to get better over time and the unitary g1 from what i've seen is like one of the most common um available humanoid robots that's now available to literally buy um so you're it's they've beat tesla to the punch really with this thing um it's hella pricey i mean this is probably including tariff costs or whatever it is expensive as heck but the fact you could actually buy one on walmart is just well anyways let me know your thoughts in the comment section obviously everyone has a different opinion on these humanoid robots whether they're a bad thing whether they're a good thing i mean it's a weird and scary time we're living in right now with you know ai replacing a lot of people's jobs and lives and i mean not replacing their people's jobs and lives but you know just the potential of it to do a lot of things that a human only a human could do in the past right i mean look at this we've got a freaking a tesla bot here at tesla diner in california in los angeles serving people popcorn oh i guess he messed that one up <laughs> he's serving popcorn and handing it handing it to customers <laughs> i haven't seen him mess up like that before um in a lot of the other videos but that's pretty wild anyways guys thank you for watching let me know your thoughts on the future of technology ai all that sort of stuff look i've been a fan of humanoid robots since 
since iRobot came out in 2004, right? I was like 13. I thought these were so cool. That Audi with the like the balls for wheels, I thought that was super cool. And you know, humanoid robots being out in society, you know, interacting with people. Obviously, the film takes a dark turn where like robots end up in AI and robots sort of turn on humanity and try to control humanity. And basically, it's, it's like the same Terminator plotline, you know, we, you, humanity cannot be trusted to look after itself. We have decided to take over and control humanity for your own protection. Protection. Um, and basically Will Smith has to get cracked down and basically beat the AI and there's one robot called Sonny who basically is like a handmade creation by its creator the Elon Musk of, in this universe um, that doesn't listen to the AI and basically has his own AI in his own head and basically wants to be human um, great film and an eerie look into the future especially now when you think about it with all these you know the Tesla bot um the Unitry G1 being a major thing. It's it's scary. For you know, fiction science fiction is becoming a reality now, and um I think it's gonna be an exciting couple of years. Anyways, love you, appreciate you all seeing the next one. Peace out and blessed okay.